Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rust Belt Collector here with a very short video, I imagine. I actually don't know how quick or short this video will go, mainly because it is kind of a trial video. Um, if you watched one of my previous videos, I think I talked about a project with this rather beat up and fodder uh, snow trooper, maybe a snow trooper commander, I really don't know. Um, but basically, what I'm going to be doing today is attempting to take this soft goods cape or like skirt comma I don't know what you want to call it and removing this hard plastic version on the Galactic Marine and then basically just swapping it over um, so that this guy will have soft goods as his cape and he'll have a lot more range of motion I always thought it was kind of a downside to the Galactic Marine figure that they have decent articulation but because of this cloth hard plastic cape that they have they really just aren't that poseable in the legs even though the articulation could be there it's it's just not so that's going to be the project and like i said i don't know how long this video will be but hopefully it gives you guys some ideas of ways that you can take this figure and make it all the better so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get this fabric off of the figure. How we're going to do that will be with this exacto uh, knife. We're just going to cut the plastic here, get the belt off, and I think that will free this up. We may need to cut it here at the stitching, but I don't really want to do that unless it's necessary, but it's not a big deal to reattach it. Okay, so I did that all off camera just because I didn't want you know, I wanted to be able to concentrate on what I was doing and not cut myself because these are very sharp. So if you're doing this or something like it, be very, very cautious with the, the tools. But the belt came off with no problem, just like that. That'll be a nice extra piece of fodder. There's some nice pouches on there that I can use. Now you could pop this figure apart at the waist, I think, um, with some, maybe some hot water. And that would allow you to get this off without cutting it. But I decided to cut it just because then there wouldn't be a way to get it back onto this figure. So I cut it off, it was pretty simple, and you know, it would have just been like that, slice it off, and there you go. So now we're done with this figure. We don't need him anymore. He can go back into the fodder bin. And we're onto this figure, which is where it gets a little bit trickier. First off, I'm just going to kind of disassemble him here so that we can get at all of the the belt here and everything. I'm going to cut it here beside one of the pouches so that it's more concealable when I reattach everything and glue it back together. And then it's going to be tricky, but I plan to cut off along the belt here, around all the way to here, so that the belt is in one piece, but that the fabric plastic is detached. Okay, so I was able to cut that off. Now, <laughs> it's a bit tricky because that is the depth that you're going to have to cut to and that is all underneath his torso like right in there so it's a little tricky you definitely want a, a narrow longer exacto knife to get all that plastic cut out so this can be a little tricky as a custom more so than what i was initially expecting but now comes the task of trimming all this hard plastic off the belt okay so that is all trimmed off um, what I found might be helpful is to cut the bulk of the plastic off like this and then go in and trim down all the finer areas where you want to trim the plastic off of and that will make it a lot easier to maneuver than trying to get it all perfect on the first pass. I don't know, that's just what I found to be the easiest. And now let's just take a look and see how this fits. I know they're going to have different waist sizes so we might have to trim some of the fabric down just a little bit to make it fit nice and securely. It's not looking too bad. I'll probably have to trim that up just a little bit but as just kind of a rough put together that looks pretty nice. I think I will go in and I'll shorten this. I'll add the notch and then probably go for an assembly. Okay so I trimmed down the fabric to about match the dimensions of this hard plastic one. So now it should fit just about perfectly around the trooper's waist. If I can get it to stay there, just about like that. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some super glue. I'm going to attach the cloth and the belt back to the figure and then I'll reassemble it and showcase what it looks like as the final result. Really quick what I've gone and done is I've actually added just a small dot of glue right here to the back and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to center up the the V that I've cut there with the uh, gap here and just make sure that that is centered and fold that into the glue and that will just ensure that I have the comma perfectly even on both sides and also just keep it in place while I affix the belt. I actually went ahead here and glued a little bit in the front as well just to keep it in place and now I'll slot the belt into place just like that and we'll put a dab of glue right in here on the inside don't want to overdo it because I don't want it to leak out and glue the torso together or glue the legs together. I've done that on figures before and it's a very unfortunate accident when that happens. Alright, and I can see here there's a little bit of excess fabric there. That's not an issue of it being straight or not, it's just an issue of uh, that connecting band of fabric there that I had. But as you can see, that's really nice on the back there and it gives it a full range of motion and I think really just improves the figure overall because the Galactic Marine is a really awesome figure. I think that it's one of the better designs that came out of um, Revenge of the Sith, just kind of a cool unique hybrid prior to the Snowtrooper. Now I really can't take credit fully for this idea. Um, there's a guy over on Instagram, I can't remember his username, it's AOS something. Um, good friend of mine, which is terrible that I forget his username, but a link down in the description will be to his Instagram page. He is one of the best three and three quarter inch Star Wars customizers that I know. And yeah, so a link down there to his Instagram page. He first did this on some Galactic Marines and it inspired me to, to do this for myself. Uh, he made his own with just like fabric from a fabric store, which you could absolutely do. I just happened to have this figure and I thought, man, that's that's a perfect crossover. Like that just works so well. And I liked the type of fabric that was being used from the Hasbro Snowtrooper. So I put it on this one and I think the result is really awesome. There are some other modifications you could make if you were so inclined. You could trim down the inside of the belt so that it sat a little bit closer. It does kind of stick out, but I think it did that originally like it's not that much worse it's just that the fabric is so much closer to the legs now than it was with the hard plastic version if any of the fabric you use ever frays or has issues like that you could just take a match or a lighter and just go along the edges and it would fix it right up so there you have it again kind of a shorter little quick custom that i did i hope you all like it and you know hopefully this helps you out if you decide that you want to do your own version of this, your own soft goods snowtrooper, galactic marine, or or what have you. I just thought I'd bring in here uh, Commander Keller, the commander of this particular battalion of the galactic marines. He already came with soft goods, which was a really awesome inclusion by Hasbro, but this guy didn't. So there you have it. That is a soft goods galactic marine custom. And as usual, there will be a link down in the description to my social media as well. You can check out my toy photography there along with just keeping up to date with whatever I've got going on. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you leave a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button and you guys can have more videos like this popping up in your feed. And comment down below, you know, what do you think of this? Is there ways that I can improve this? I appreciate all constructive criticism on all of my customs It's and even all of my videos. I just could always improve. So that about wraps it up, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.